Okay, so now we are in Plaza Oaxaca, and this is the more uppity plaza, but it's actually a strip mall. It's not a mall mall. So all the stores and everything are on the outside. There's a large grocery store. There's a large department store that's like one of the nicer ones in the country. There's a large, very large movie theater and a Domino's and a couple of other small stores, including the Copa, where you can get um, cheap stuff for your house. So we're going to go inside Liverpool, which is one of the major department stores in the nation. And they have higher end clothing and stuff for your home. And it's very expensive, actually. Um, I don't know why. Like, stuff here is a lot more expensive than it is in the States. So let's check it out. Okay guys, so this is the main entrance of Liverpool and this is the parking lot entrance. There is another entrance, but it's on the side. It's kind of like for cabs to drop you off and go and it's not the main one. So I came in through the main one and I have the video at half speed. So everything's going to look a little slow, but that gives me a better chance to explain things. So when you first come in, you come into fragrances. Everything is fragrances and behind fragrances, there'll be makeup. So we're going to make a left and we're going to circle the whole bottom floor in this video and then on a separate video we'll do the second floor or first floor actually. I keep getting that confused. Alright, so as soon as you leave the fragrance area you're going to go into women's clothing on the left and you got Chico's, you got Levi, Dockers, um, several brands that are higher end compared to most stores in Mexico. These are a few of the stores where you can actually get these brands. It's going to be like Liverpool, Palacio de Hierro, and usually the store manufacturer, they'll have like their actual store in a strip mall or something. But if you go to other de smaller department stores like Coppola and stuff, you're not going to find these brands. They even have a section, if you ask, for plus size women. It's a whole separate section at Liverpool. So every all the brands are just put there together. So if you need to go some larger sizes, you can ask and they'll take you there. All right, so we went through a lot of the woman's clothing and we're going to make a right here and up ahead, I believe, is the candy store. So we're going to keep going and still women's clothing. And the good thing about this store is that there's a little bit for everyone because they also have some very inexpensive brands. That's why you'll see all kind of uh, social class status people here because they have brands for everyone. And this store is very smart compared to stores like Palacio Hierro. Palacio Hierro only handles high-end stuff. Here they handle low-end to high-end, so they can get all kinds of customers in. This is the candy store. You will get stuff like Pringles and stuff that you would see at any regular like American gas station they have here because they're not common, like large Snickers bars. They have Icy's, which I was surprised. To them, that's like a luxury. But if you're craving American candy, that's the place to go. Now we're going into the purse section. They have a lot of purses and backpacks. And again, you're going to find a range from really cheap to higher end brands that will last you longer. So if you're looking for something that's going to last you after your trip and you can take to the States, or if you already live in Mexico and you just want something more used to what you could get in the States at a uh, store like Macy's or something, this is the place to come and they'll have some higher end brand purses. There's also shoes on the left here. Same thing, they go from real cheap to higher end stuff. This whole corner is shoes for women only. We're gonna make a right here and we're gonna look around. Actually, they're having a sale, that's why all those signs are up there. So, now we're gonna start going into the men's department. The same thing applies to the men's clothing. They have everything from real cheap kind of maybe not disposable but like you can get dirty and not worry about it to higher end clothing and the funny part is the higher end clothing is towards the center of the store where the fragrances are everything on the left side is kind of like the lower end and as you get closer to the center that's when you see the higher end clothing for the gentleman and the higher end brands so a bunch of shirts there's a big sale going on like i said they got all kind of stuff everywhere suits on sale 
Uh, I think every month there's almost a sale there with a different excuse just to keep inventory circulating. So if you are traveling and you need a suit and you want something kind of okay or something you could take back to the States and wear in the States, this is the place to go. If you're looking for something just for a quick party you were invited to and you didn't pack any nice clothes, well, you can get something here or at one of the other stores like Copa. All right, so we're halfway through. Now we're into like the denim section. Like, All right, to the right, there's gonna be a bunch of watches and we're gonna go back to that section later. That's like the center where we entered. So now we're looking at hats. They have different hats and most of them match the dressing style of Latin America, which is kind of like Cuban hats and like straw hats. And they're kind of nice. They got a lot of belts. Most of the belts here, unless you see a brand that you recognize, um, try to avoid them because they're usually very cheaply stitched and they will come apart. The sunglasses, same thing. If it's a brand you don't recognize, you might want to avoid it. So here's the tennis shoes for men. We're going into the sports section now. The sports section is actually mixed, men and female. So you're going to find both male and female clothing all mixed around. It's kind of a nightmare if you're shopping for sports clothes. I know because I did that with my wife and she had to go through a bunch of racks that had everything mixed up. So now we're looking at the jeans section on the right. That is still the male section of the jeans. Right here on the left, we're still in the sports section and it seems like this is more like female sports, but there's every now and then you'll see a male rack mixed in there. Up ahead, this is mostly for um, long-term visitors or people that are moving to Mexico. You'll see on the left here in a bit, you can actually get workout equipment. So if you're worried about your fitness and you think that maybe you need something at home that'll help you work out, they have treadmills, they have bicycles, they have weight sets. There's a bunch of stuff in that corner and you can basically get that and put it in your house. But I would always just walk outside. Being in Mexico, you don't have to worry about winter. So you can walk all year round unless you just have to have that air conditioned, then you can go ahead and get that treadmill. All right, we're three quarters of the way in. Bear with me. So more female stuff on the left. We're back at the beginning of the woman's clothing department. When we started, we were about halfway in because we came in through the main door. Over here to our left is that side door I was telling you where the cabs drop you off. They got some cell phones here. I wouldn't get a cell phone at this store. Um, they usually just sell them outright every now and then they'll give you the option to get a contract. But they're kind of expensive. So this is where the women's department actually starts. When we came in, we were halfway through the women's department because we came in through the main door and it starts right at the middle where all the women's stuff is split. So this is all women's stuff. And this is more like a youth section, like for younger women, a little less uh, conservative clothing on the left, a little more conservative on the right. They have jeans, they have dresses. This is also a good place for ladies that are traveling into Mexico and got invited to an event or a dinner or a party to get a cheap dress that looks nice if they need it. Now it might not last you a long time, like maybe not many uses, but it'll be great for that one event they invite you when you meet your new friends in Mexico traveling. All right, we're almost back where we started. So you've probably already recognized some of the brands here. You got Aeropostale and Levi and a bunch of other ones that I cannot pronounce. So I'm not even gonna try, but that's the kind of store this is. I would really compare this store at the bottom floor to Macy's because they carry the same amount of clothing and the same quality levels. Once you go to the second store or second floor of the store, we'll do that in a separate video. That's mostly gonna be furniture, appliances, electronics, and children's clothing and toys. All right, we're back into the makeup and scent section. We came in through the left right here, but I'm gonna walk the center of the store now so that you don't miss out on that. So basically, it's all going to be fragrances and makeup, mostly. Towards the end, after the makeup, there's going to be watches and some kind of higher-end uh, writing instruments, uh, writing tools, some, uh, some of the gentlemen's uh, jewelry like cufflinks and stuff like that. So we're looking at makeup now. We're going to keep going. There's fragrances still mixed in with the makeup because they do it by the brand. So it's all fragrances again. This is the inner block of the store that we're walking now. We already went around the whole store. 
All right, now we're in the sunglass section, but this is like the higher end sunglass section. There was a sunglass section earlier in the males department, but it was like the lower end stuff. This is the higher end stuff. There's our escalator. We'll be going up it later after we look around real quick. And there's the name of the store to the right, Liverpool, just like the city in England. Um, it is a pretty old store in the country. So, all right, here we go into the watch section. So we got watches. Let's make a left here and see if we can, there we go. All right, so everything is watches and you're gonna find all levels. Um, I mean, you can get an Omega here or you can get like a Casio. That's whatever you wanna get, different levels. They have pens uh, also in different levels. You can get something kind of nice and you can go and get like a solid gold pen also. So it just depends. This is more for my permanent um, visitors that are going to stay here for an extended amount of time or indefinitely and if you actually look all the way down that's actually where we turned when we first started there's the polo section on the right that's the men's polo section we got some real oh do not buy jewelry here ladies unless it's just something real cheap for something that they invited you like you got to go to a party or a dinner or something and you just need some jewelry because you didn't pack any most of the jewelry, regardless of the price, is going to be real cheapy. Um, so just get the real cheapy to begin with because it's probably going to be the same quality as the higher end stuff that you're paying more for. So here's the polo clothing. We actually, I think we already went through here. No, we didn't go through here. I was wrong. This leads directly to the candy store. This is the other aisle that we missed. We started a little more to the left. There are several aisles in this store. So now we're going through... The left is still women's, the right is men's clothing, and they got like Nautica, Vans. So there's different uh, brands to pick from, and we're gonna end up right there by the candy shop. Backpacks. It amazes me how much stuff has the Ferrari logo. Someone told me that Ferrari actually makes more money from um, leasing their logo to all these different companies than selling cars. I don't know if that's true or not, but there's so much stuff worldwide with that logo, wallets, headphones, t-shirts, shoes, it just blows my mind. It's pretty smart, very smart on them. All right, now we're into the candy. They got cookies and chocolates and all kinds of stuff. They don't bake it themselves, so just keep that in mind. Some of the stuff might be out here for a while before you get to it. At the very end, they have uh, Go-Gurt and I think regular ice cream. So we got M&Ms, you can buy them by the weight, fill your bag. Here's back in the purse section. We walked over here earlier, so I know we went through here. I always have to bring my son and get him some candy when we come through here. All right, we're back in the purse section. And, okay, I remember what I was doing. I actually was told that the elevators were this way and they were not. I remember now. So I did get lost here for a bit. And then we had to ask another employee. It was funny because the first employee didn't know. Now we're headed to the elevator. All right, so there's more candy. They got popcorn. They got different kinds of popcorn. They'll sell you the big bag, giant uh, lollipops. Uh, right here on the left, the Nutrisa, or on the right, I'm sorry, the Nutrisa, that's that Gogurt. It's a pretty good brand. There's my buddy Joseph. You'll recognize him because he wears a Pretty cool fishing shirt. M&Ms, you can buy them by the way. You just fill up a bag and they weigh it and charge you. All right, we're gonna keep going to the women's department. Oh, okay, so I think the elevator is actually down to the right. Oh, and these machines on the right, they're pretty cool because you can look up items online that they don't have in the store and order them. So if they don't have a size or something and something you want and you have the time to have it delivered, which means you probably live here, you can just look it up there. And that goes for everything, not just clothing, like furniture or anything. They usually deliver for free. There's very few exceptions to that. All right, there we go. We got restrooms and elevators. So right there, if you ever see a sign that says Sanitarios, that means restrooms. And there's our elevator and we're about to go in and we'll head upstairs and that'll be another video that we'll do going upstairs and again that's mostly that video is going to be mostly for our permanent people because it's mostly furniture appliances kitchenware 
uh, TVs, all kind of stuff. That's mostly for your home. There is the boys and girls clothing. So if you're traveling with children and you need clothes for them, you would have to go to the second floor. But mostly it's going to be home stuff and toys. So this is the Liverpool in Oaxaca City in Mexico. And most Liverpools are almost blueprinted to each other. Very few are different. So whatever you see here, you're going to see at other Liverpools. It doesn't change that much. All right, we're going to hit that button and head upstairs. And I want to thank you guys for watching.